Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Empowered Para. On today's video, I'm gonna tell you all about how I cured my chronic UTIs. And I'm also gonna tell you four things about UTIs that your doctor probably doesn't want you to know. If you're new here, my name is Brittany Nunzig and I've been in a wheelchair for over 20 years. This channel is all about helping you navigate life in a wheelchair and making it happier, healthier, and easier. All right, let's talk about UTIs. When you're paralyzed, you have to use a catheter. And when you have to use a catheter, that means that you're entering bacteria into your bladder a whole bunch of times a day, which means, you guessed it, UTIs. And when I was first paralyzed, I got UTIs chronically. I had bladder infections at least 12 times a year. I would just get over one and two weeks later, boom, another one would come on and I would be back at the doctor getting antibiotics. And this went on for at least 10 years. Just no hope of ever getting my bladder infections under control. And every doctor that I visited said, it's just part of using a catheter. It's part of having a spinal cord injury. It's just par for the course. So I believed them for so many years. And then finally, I just got sick of it. I got totally sick of it and decided I'm gonna do some research on my own and see what I can find out about bladder infections. And so I scoured the internet, I started doing my own research and here's what I found. Number one, most bladder infections, if left untreated, clear up on their own. Yeah, you heard that right. They completely clear up on their own without antibiotics. If it's an uncomplicated UTI, so no fever, no cystitis, which means just severe irritation of the bladder where you're having to pee like a bazillion times a day. Um, so if there's no complications, they don't need antibiotics. And most of the time they clear up on their own. Number two, there's lots of home remedies and natural antibiotics that work to treat UTIs and prevent UTIs. I'm gonna talk about the one I use to get rid of my, my UTIs in a minute. Number three, bacteria can colonize your bladder without causing an infection. So when you use a catheter, there's gonna be bacteria in your bladder all the time. Those bacteria can multiply without infecting tissue. So unless you have symptoms um, like fever or incontinence, then it's probably not an infection and you just need to drink more in order to clear that urine up. Number four, cloudy, smelly urine does not always mean an infection. Like I just said, bacteria can colonize your bladder and cause cloudy, smelly urine, but without causing an infection, there are lots of things that can cause urine to become cloudy and smelly. High levels of vitamin D and phosphorus are filtered out through the kidneys and can cause cloudy urine. Asparagus can make your urine smell really funky. Just being dehydrated and having your urine really concentrated can cause it to be super smelly and cloudy. So. Don't always run to the doctor just because you have cloudy, smelly urine. All right, now that we've talked about four things you might not have known about urinary tract infections, I'm gonna to talk to you about how I was able to go from taking antibiotics at least 12 times a year to taking them only a handful of times over the last eight years, just using natural treatments. I call it my five steps to freedom from antibiotic use. Number one, I stopped taking antibiotics. Pretty obvious, right? But way harder said than done because it's scary sometimes when you have a bladder infection and especially when you have a spinal cord injury, you are incontinent a lot of the time. And so it's uncomfortable, it's annoying, you're changing your clothes all the time and it's really just downright awful. I get that not running to the doctor right away is really hard to do. And I did it for 10 years, so I know exactly how that feels, but I had to commit to stopping the antibiotics and using natural treatments. So that is tip number one, stop taking the antibiotics. But what do you do instead, right? So here's what I did. Number two, I stopped drinking anything but water and I drank it like my life depended on it. Water is the number one thing you can do to prevent UTIs and to treat them. It is needed to flush the bacteria out of your bladder. And drinking you know, the recommended six to eight cups is not enough, just it's not especially when you have a bladder infection. So I went from drinking maybe six cups of water a day to at least 12. I drink 
at least one or two cups every hour or every two hours. And I went from having to cath every four to six hours to every two to four hours. Sometimes I even have to cath every hour. And I just traded having to cath more for the inconvenience of having to go to the doctor when I had a UTI, take a, lab, a sample to the lab, incontinence when I had a UTI. So there's a whole bunch of reasons that it's way better to drink, drink more and cath more than to not drink and let those bacteria sit in your bladder. Cathing more may introduce bacteria more, um, but you're also flushing it out way better. So, and just an FYI, bacteria can take up to two hours to multiply. So if you're cathing every two hours, you're not even giving them the chance to multiply. So um, that was huge for me. Drinking water was huge for me. Number three, I ate raw garlic every day. Garlic is one of the oldest known antibiotics on the planet, and it's been used medicinally for thousands of years. It's well studied and it works. I know it works because I've used it. It doesn't have a lot of studies specifically for bladder infections, but it is well studied. In fact, in one study conducted at the University of Sarajevo, garlic was tested against multiple strains of bacteria and fungus and was shown to be effective in killing all of them, including MRSA, E. coli, Salmonella, and Candida. So that's pretty powerful. Um, garlic was my first line of defense for every symptomatic UTI. And I would take three cloves of garlic, cut them up into little bits, wait 10 minutes, and then I would swallow them. Why wait 10 minutes? Why not just swallow it right away? Well, because the active ingredient in garlic is called allicin, which is the thing that gives garlic its funky smell. And that allicin only develops when air hits the cut garlic. So an enzymatic reaction has to take place and it has to take place over about 10 to 15 minutes. So don't swallow it right away. Otherwise you're just going to get stinky garlic bread for absolutely nothing. So I, the, what I took was three cloves of garlic three times a day, just like I was dosing an antibiotic. And then once my symptoms cleared up after a day or two, um, I would take in just in the morning and at night. And then after about seven days, I would just take it once a day. And for probably a year, I ate at least one clove of garlic every single day for prevention, which worked really well. So I can only attest to my experience, but I was able to basically completely stop my antibiotics just using garlic. All right, number four, I supplemented with D-mannose. And if you've never heard of D-mannose before, it is just a sugar molecule that mimics one of the sugar molecules in our bodies. And so the bacteria, specifically E. coli, because D-mannose only works with E. coli, they um, attach to the D-mannose sugar molecule instead of the sugar molecule on our urinary tract cell walls. And they are irreversibly attached and then they can be flushed out. So taking D-mannose on a regular basis is huge for prevention, but it also works in an acute uh, urinary tract infection as well. You just have to up your dose from a couple of times a day, a couple of times a day to four or five times a day when you have an active UTI. This is probably the most important thing that I do still for prevention. And I take it morning and night, just two pills uh, in the morning and two pills at night. And I also take it after intercourse because that just introduces more bacteria. This is the brand I use. Um, it's called UTI Cleanse. And um, I like it because it also has cranberry in it, which is another um, really great thing for prevention of urinary tract infection. So d manos number four. And number five, the fifth thing that I did was I had to trust my body and give it what it needed in order to improve my immune system. So I had to believe that my body could heal a bladder infection and that I didn't need antibiotics. That was number one. Your mind is a powerful thing and stressing about something and believing it's not possible just dampers your immune system so much. So I had to first believe that it was possible. And then two, I had to give my body what it needed. You know, I couldn't improve my immune system by eating McDonald's every day and just pounding down sugar. I used to have the worst diet ever. I would eat so much sugar and after researching how important 
um, a good diet is for your immune system and how detrimental sugar is for your health, I completely changed my diet. And so I began upping my fiber, upping my fruits and vegetables, and reducing the amount of processed foods, sugars, dairies, grains, all of that that I was intaking. It was a slow process, so I didn't do it all at once, but improving my diet was huge. All right, those are the things that I did to cure my chronic bladder infections, and I was able to go from taking antibiotics 12 times a year to only five times in the last eight years, and only two of those times have been from UTIs. If you have any tips on how you were able to cure your chronic UTIs or anything that works when you have a UTI, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to be able to try new things. Well, that's it guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. I will be posting more videos on all the natural antibiotics that I have done research on for UTIs. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one.